Hello and welcome to the second game between Lucian and uh, Zoc. Hopefully you did not miss the first one. Um, this is round two of the Imbo Cup in the winner's bracket. And of course, in the previous game in the exact same map, same factions. Uh, Lucian chased Zoc and uh, wasn't able to finish it off and it ended up as a draw. Although here we got Zoc. We have same factions but they have switched spots. Zoc going first land, two pigeons, and an early scout once again. So that early scout really helped him last time. Looks like this time Lucian, instead of first bomber, is going with first land. That'll make it interesting. And first Celine. So both players really want to know what the other is doing. Uh, Lucian coming out with Celine's. One pigeon and a mask extractor. So very interesting builds from uh, Lucian on the last one where he went first bomber but with a single pigeon. There goes the scout. That's the one big advantage for Seraphim in terms of scouts. They do have, definitely have the strongest one. Doesn't have any. Well, it, uh, actually, has stealth ability after it stands still. So it's a very good uh, unit. It is a little more expensive, of course, but when you're talking about scouts, price is not really an issue. Looks like Lucian is going second land, so we're not going to see air from Lucian for a while. This is it's about as late as you will ever see air from uh, Lucian. Looking at Zoc, it looks like he is going to go uh, it's second air for him. So it's second air from Cybern versus all land from Lucian. And perhaps Lucian, yeah. We're actually now seeing that there will be an air factory eventually. On a small map like this, of course, Seraphim always have a good option just to make a whole bunch of artillery and march the ACU to the other's base. And that would definitely work, especially against the Cybern player. Perhaps that's what Lucian is going to do. There's going to be some uh, hunters now going after a tank and a Selene. So two hunters versus a tank and a Selene. It's most likely going to go to the Seraphim player. It looks like one of those hunters just got killed. Elsewhere, we do see a Selene now stealthy underneath this uh, mass extractor. This engineer is going to have some problems. It's now second land. It looks like interceptors for uh, Lucian. So Lucian switching it up, going second air as well. It was crazy if if he actually did go uh, third air. So nothing, nothing strange happening yet. So now we got a bomber versus interceptor. And these hunters doing a very good job actually surviving. Killing off an engineer. So Zog's hunters so far, excellent. Excellent work now, bomber for Lucian. Looks like those hunters will be uh, finished off. A third land factory being constructed. We, two, we see two land factories. Should see a third being built for Zox. Zox a little behind on factories. This expansion is taking him a very long time because that's Celine. And through the top, it looks like it's just Lucian expanding. Zox still in the middle, picking up some mass extractors. And here is basically no man's land except for this Selene, an engineer, and a tank. Everything happening on the top. And now we got a bit of an air fight. Here's Lucian is going to have this one with a bomber coming in. Two kills in that interceptor. And let's see what that uh, bomber can do for Lucian. Does go after an engineer. Kills a single engineer, but it looks like that's going to be the only pass. So Zoc reestablishes air control over his own base. This engineer, after finally taking care of this problem this is going to be killed just in time but man they kill the tank well we see so now Lucian we want to kill moving close to Zox ACU a bit of trouble here with his Manti but numbers against uh, Lucian's tanks he should be able to take care of this problem a pretty large force now going down for Lucian and Lucian has the possibility of taking map control here taking both of the top and the bottom expansions. Zog getting some more factories with his ACU. Looks like he's uh, going to try to do a pretty big Mantis spam here. No uh, early uh, Tech 2 land. Of course, a Tech 2 land we've seen in some one of the previous games that um, Tech 2 land definitely an uh, advantage for uh, Seraphim. It's pretty even numbers here for Zoc versus Lucian. This is beginning to look like a regular uh, Theta. Some bombers for Zoc as well. Some nice scouting. It's very even numbers, and looks like those uh, tanks are going to run. 
it's still very very even numbers still some reinforcements coming in for Zoc and up on top Lucian taking a shot and retreating Zoc moving in as well so Zoc's got to be worried about this expansion he had that trouble taking these mass structures for a while so he's he's had significantly less mass than Zoc you can see these mass structures for example plus engineers picking up this these rocks some some uh aggressive manta here around the site probably pick off a couple engineers it looks like Zuck is able to gain victory on the bottom an engineer is ready to take care of this problem but now we got the fight between the ACUs a pretty large force here from uh, Lushan quite a few arty and if Zuck runs in a straight line he'll be in a lot of trouble he needs to do some dodging that's some manta of his own he's pulling all of his manta in he is in a bit of trouble here with this weak ACU Lushan pretty much at full health one kill Zok at 8 kills. And these are great manta here from Zok. Meanwhile, we got this big fight going on. They've killed a few units, killed a few mass extractors. So, really evening out map control. Great stuff from Zok, forcing all these units back. You see the two ACUs splitting up, choosing to shoot each other's uh, Tech 1 tanks, trying to get the veterancy. You see both uh, players retreating, and actually, pretty big retreat for Lucian. He's going to get his units back to his ACU, and so, so is for Zok. So we see some nice positioning from these two players, but once again, Cybern, such a weak ACU, Zok needs to, uh, that was probably a bit late there from Zok. It could be a bit surprising, we didn't see some blocking there from Lucian, but Zok needs to keep running. He's got a lot of tanks, but Lucian is basically at full health. Zok losing health way too quickly. Even though Zok has massive numbers, and uh, that was an overcharge, Lucian finishes off with overcharge. And we gotta say, Seraphim wins this one. Perhaps not so much Lushan, he played extremely well, but that was a completely a Seraphim win. And Lushan continues in the winner's bracket.